Hey everyone, thanks for joining me. My name is Giselle and I plan on doing videos throughout the summer, probably once a month on my gardening and you know what's going on and how's the progress um, with everything going. So early on in April, I believe is when I recorded this, um, I got a lot of stuff at Aldi's. I didn't use these sheets yet. I was going to use them um, around the stuff that I planted, but I'm going to save it now for next year. But these were $4.99. And I got some soil from Algae's as well that I believe was $3.49 and it was okay. It wasn't the greatest to be honest. I wound up going later on a few weeks later to get more soil from Home Depot. I got miracle Grow. I think it was like five bags for $10. They had a sale and I got, I think, 10 bags, which I wound up adding later on. And these are some seeds that I, I planted. I planted some in pots, which just started to grow which you will see at the end of the video because this is recorded a little over a month ago. That's my daughter. She helps me throughout the garden. She's playing with the sprinkler over there. It was really hot this day. It wound up being cold for like a few weeks after. It's starting to get hot again. But this day, it was, it was pretty, it, it was hot. It was above average. So I wound up planting cucumbers, not all of the seeds. And um, fortunately, they did not grow. So I actually wound up buying plants later on, which you will see at the end of the video. So when we first purchased this home, which is the summer of 2021, we moved in mid-August. I had bought soil that I had from where I was living before. I was growing and um, I was growing in containers and I had a, I can't even think, what is the name of it? Oh my gosh. A raised bed okay so I was growing in a raised bed in containers and I absolutely collected all my soil that I had for the, in the past few years I was gardening and I brought it in the pickup truck over to the new property along with a mint thyme and rosemary which the, only the mint survived but anyways I noticed that the soil was really horrible it was very dense um, kind of had a red tone to it very sandy and there was no life so the first indication that soil is bad is no life. If you don't see any bugs or worms thriving in your soil, your soil is not going to be healthy enough or, you know, it's just not going to be good for your plants to grow. A soil needs to have life. It needs to be rich. And an indication of a good soil is, you know, worms and bugs live in it and they're creating air pockets throughout and they're also creating their own waste, which is helping the soil um, stay, I, I guess stay, be nutritious for your plants, for lack of better words. So I've changed the soil. This year I've probably added 30 bags so far and I probably will continue to add more this summer or you know as the years go on. So um, right now I'm just you know cleaning. I had the boys help me clean out some weeds. I really don't like to use much of a fertilizer. Actually I don't use fertilizer. Well I shouldn't say that because I do use miracle Grow on and off and I did use miracle Grow soil later on but I don't like to use any pesticides so um, right now I'm just cleaning and throughout the whole season of gardening for this year I will do what I do in the past you know previous years I will clean the weeds by my hand I will not put you know any weed killer none of that and the only thing I really use is miracle Grow occasionally I do put um, sometimes I crush up the eggs or you could put the eggs in a food blender or a food processor you can use that as well with coffee grinds. I'm trying to compost for this uh, this year. So I will, you know, try to add that in in the next coming videos because I'm learning about that. But I try to do everything as natural as possible. Sometimes I even, if I have bad milk, spoiled milk in my refrigerator, I would absolutely add that to my garden. Or, if, you know, the milk container's empty in the summer and spring, I fill it up with water and add that. That, that's actually, milk is really good for your garden. I'll talk about that more later on because I want to make sure I give you the correct information. You know, I read this many years ago, so I've, I've just been doing it as a habit. But um, yeah, so right now we're just adding more soil. We're spreading that out. And like I said, I did add more soil later on. Something later on, which I will show you and talk further more about, is I purchase live worms, live ladybugs, and sometimes grasshoppers. Uh, well, we're, we're getting into that later on, and I'll explain to you why I've been doing that for years. So um, I did plant these along with the cucumbers, the zucchini, and um, they have not grown yet, but I'm gonna give it a few weeks. I, I don't really know what's going up this year because usually I do plant cucumbers and zucchini with no problem. 
Um, but this year, yeah, not so successful. I don't know if I planted too early. But um, if it doesn't grow in a few more weeks, I'm gonna buy a zucchini plant because I like to have zucchini for the summer. I've grown it for the last two years since I've had this house. This would be the third year because we did it in 2022 and in 2023, and now we're in 2024. And I just love it. I, you know, use it fresh, salads, curries, whatever. But yeah, so I'm just planting that right now. So I'm planting corn this year. I did plant it last year. Um, it didn't grow. I'm only going to plant a few. Well, I only planted a few when I recorded this. I have some saved up. If it doesn't grow, I'm going to try to plant it in a different location because maybe there's something I'm doing wrong because I've actually planted it years ago in a container and it grew. So I don't know if I'm overwatering, which is something I've known to be doing in this house only and it's because we have a sprinkler system and I have to keep that in mind. I did plant sunflower seeds so far, they have not grown. I did the same with the corn, planted a few, and I will always plant more later on in a different location. Because these are things that I planted in the past where I used to live and they've always grown successfully. But every area, even though this is New York, every area is different, the circumstances are all different and that can affect why it's not growing or why it's growing even faster. Um, these are bell peppers that I planted indoors and they just started to grow, which you will see at the end of the video. Um, but you will also see that I forgot to label what is what in each pot. So I'm gonna, you know, obviously in a few weeks, separate them and keep them. So I'll keep all the hot peppers and bell peppers together and I'll just, you know, separate them carefully and figure out what they are as the weeks go on. So this is where I decided to plant the sunflower seeds and I feel like it's a great location to add a little life and, you know, I guess design or whatever, flowers to the back of that fence. Later on I went to Lidl's to get more flowers. Honestly, Lidl's has great flowers and if you live near one, definitely check it out. Since I've owned this house, we I've gone there every year to get flowers and herbs and also vegetable plants when available. So I planted all this on the section of my garden that's all floral because I have a floral section and an edible section. Um, I would say that you should always plant flowers near any garden that you have. Having, an, having flowers as an addition to your garden is definitely going to help with pollinating. Pollinators are going to be attracted to the floral area and they're going to help pollinate the flowers that are in your garden and everything else will be growing in harmony together because you do need life. That's why I don't use the pesticides or anything that kills bugs or weeds because that will kill the life and you need bugs to help your garden thrive. So these are a few shrubs that I want up planting in front of my house later on. Um, the shrubs look really great here. They kind of look a little different. I planted them where there's a lot of rocks and obviously the rocks attract heat. So I have to keep it watered, you know, more than I would any of my other stuff. These are some of my peppers I'm planting. I just have to water it a little today. Also update on my garden videos. I'm not going to do them weekly. It wouldn't be enough content to make a full video. So probably every two to three weeks. So I'm not going to upload a garden video probably to the first week of May, but I am recording regularly or every time that I do something new. 
So this is the stand that my husband screens and these are the plants that are indoors. So I wound up planting this underneath, um, I don't know the name of the tree and I really should know the name of the tree since I've been living here and gardening. But I wound up planting it along this uh, tree bush area. I thought this would be a really nice edge because these plants are really used for edging um, around walkways or around tree stumps. They're doing okay. I don't know if it was a great location. I also have to watch my dog that he doesn't stumble on that area. So I'm going to actually try to start walking him because I don't want him by himself in my garden. Um, and I wound up planting all these bulbs and seeds, which you will see later on. Some of them are actually growing now. These are English daisies. I did plant the same, well, the same two plants last year, the same colors. Um, I think they're growing back. I'll show you that in my next video. But those two that I just did plant, the pinkish one is not doing that well. That is rosemary, my rose bush, my tomatoes. So I'll give you a rundown of everything I planted so far in my garden. I planted three tomato plants, two eggplants, three spinach. I have strawberries. I've had that strawberry plant for two years. I have mint, I have three cucumbers, I did plant um, zucchini, it's not growing yet, same with the corn, sunflower is not growing yet, um, I'm trying to think what else, I have chives that grew from last year, I planted cilantro, parsley, I have two more cilantro plants that were gifted to me I'm going to plant, um, let me see, did I say rosemary, oh this is thyme, I had Greek thyme, that's Italian thyme, I had Greek thyme but that did not grow back which I'm surprised because Greek thyme can actually grow back if the, you know, circumstances and the weather in the area, I guess, you know, the soil. If the soil is good, it will grow back. It didn't grow back here. I did plant lavender this year. I planted lavender last year too. The lavender last year died. But lavender is a perennial. So is echinacea that I planted last year. and Both did not grow back. So anyways, these are the bulbs that I'm planting in my floral area right now. So some of my perennials that we planted last year are growing, I said that earlier and you'll see it later on. Um, I don't know what is what, like I said, I didn't record a label, really horrible of me. But it's going to look beautiful when it fully grows and it's going to attract amazing life. Um, some of those I did not plant, or the seeds, I did throw down the chive seeds. Not chives, the dill seeds and I did throw down the chard, which I see the chard is actually growing a little bit already. And that is my raspberry plant. And I did plant a kiwi plant. I don't know if I mentioned that. There's a kiwi plant further along in the garden. Um, it's growing a little bit. It looks a little bigger than it did a few weeks ago. I'll show you that more in the next video. I also want to tell you that the raspberry bush and the blueberry bush that I have and the kiwi plant are from Lidl's. The raspberry and the blueberry bush I planted in the summer of 2022. They're still thriving. I think I pruned it too much last year, which is why it's not growing that healthy as it should. This year, I'm not gonna cut it that much. And the kiwi plant, that's my first time planting that. It is a hardy kiwi plant, so it's good for zone seven, which is New York where I live, I'm zone seven. So I'll see how that grows this summer. It might not have any fruit to the following summer. I haven't really read much 
much up on the kiwi plant but i really have to start reading up on it to see what kind of soil it needs and you know when it starts fruiting so those are the cucumber plants that i just purchased and i don't know if you saw but i have scallions growing and those scallions are actually from my kitchen scraps and they actually i soaked them in a little water for like a few days and then i wanted or uh, planted them in the ground and they actually took and they're actually growing so that's amazing those are the shrubs that i was telling that i planted in front of my house these are a little flowers that I plant in my pot. And I just wanted to show you the front of my landscaping. I did get a new shrub a few weeks ago from Lidl's that I planted in the far back corner. It's gonna grow to, honestly, I don't even know, but it's gonna grow a lot bigger. I think maybe five feet or so. I wound up getting a apple tree gala from Walmart. I'll see how that does in you know, the coming weeks. Also, it's gonna take a few years to actually start producing fruit. I want to bring in this outside instead of indoors to kind of spruce up the area. I'm going to put plants on there as the summer and season continues. Um, this is a fern that I got at, I think, out in no, Lidl's. I got it at Lidl's a few months ago. I brought it outside. Um, so some of the seeds that I threw down a few weeks ago, I don't know if you can tell, but they're actually starting to sprout and they're growing. So those were shade wildflower seeds. And then over here is a mixture of shade and full sun. Those are my poppies that I've grown back from last year. And if you see that right there, that is my English daisy, but it just has no flowers yet. I plan on adding a little more stuff here. I just don't want to overcrowd it. This is the lavender. That's the kiwi plant. Those are, that's flowers that I planted last year. And I don't know if you can see over there, these are the daisies, but over there in that corner, I wish I would've took a better video. It has to be something I planted last year because I don't remember planting it this year. That's the Swiss chard growing. These are my raspberries and I have strawberries right next to it that just started to flower. My rose bush I planted last year, my spinach. My eggplant doesn't look that healthy. I'm gonna have to probably add some miracle Grow, or maybe not, maybe it has too much nutrients, I'm not sure. I've grown eggplant every year. It's, it's actually grown very successful in this property. These are my three tomato plants. Those are the scallions that I brought from the kitchen and started to um, and plant it outside. my chives they have two flowers growing the mint is growing it's taken over it's very invasive mint is very invasive it's actually growing on the outside part of my little area as well that's an onion that i forgot i planted a while back and it's just started to grow as well and those are the cucumbers and a little further over there i don't know if you can tell us where i did plant the zucchini but it's not growing so let's see what happens so that's everything that i planted so far i do plan on planting a few more things and I'm going to show you the seeds that I planted a few weeks back are finally growing. These are two extra cilantro plants I'm going to take outside and two potatoes that I'm trying to let sprout to grow as well. Thanks for watching. Please don't forget to like and subscribe and hit the notification button.